are listening to Standards in 10 Minutes from The Standard Show, the podcast that brings you the stories behind the standards with Matthew Childs and Cindy Parakil. Hello, my name is Matthew Childs. And I'm Cindy Parakil. And this Standard in 10 Minutes is BS 3416, menstruation, menstrual health and menopause in the workplace. Here are 10 things you need to know. Number one. What the standard is all about. The standard BS 3416 gives guidance to organisations on developing policies and practices that are supportive of employees in the workplace experiencing menstruation, perimenopause or menopause. It also gives guidance to organisations to identify and act on the misconceptions around menstruation, perimenopause and menopause and the impact that the taboo surrounding them can have on workplace support. The standard does not cover medical guidance or clinical options outside of the workplace. However, it does include references to qualified sources where such information is available. Whilst the focus of the standard is on menstrual and menopausal health, the recommendations are likely to be of benefit to all employees. Number two, why the standard was developed. As workplaces were first established at a time when women were only a minority of the workforce, they were rarely designed with consideration of menstruation and the menopause. Today, a considerable proportion of the workforce menstruates or experiences the menopause transition. Yet, that has not necessarily meant that workplace environments, practices and cultures have been adapted to accommodate the needs of these employees. At a time of skills shortages, recruitment challenges, and when employees and stakeholders are more socially aware and have expectations about well-being at work, it is important that organizations re-evaluate their job and workplace designs to make them suitable for all employees. So BS 3416 was developed to help with this in mind, providing standardized guidelines that are both authoritative and reliable. Number three, tackling gender inequality too. Over the last few years in the UK, menstruation and menopause have moved higher on the political agenda and increasingly visible in the media. This change has been led by women's organisations, menstrual activists and research about menstrual and menopausal experiences. As a result of these efforts, awareness around menstruation and menopause has grown. However, due to gendered ageism and other structural inequalities, some employees may not wish to disclose, for example, that they are experiencing menopause transition. By implementing the standards recommendations on menstruation and menopause in the workplace, organisations can therefore make an important contribution towards tackling gender inequalities. Adopting such guidelines in the workplace is therefore a major step towards a more equitable and just society. Number four, who the standard is for. The standards guidance on policies, practical actions and workplace culture acknowledges a diverse range of workplace settings and job roles. So, the standard is relevant for all organisations, large or small, across all sectors and environments. And it gives particular recommendations relevant to SMEs, outdoor settings and highly physical roles. And although the guidance focuses on supporting employees with their experiences of menstruation and menopause, the inclusive and open culture it promotes means that it is of benefit to all employees. The standard is designed to be used by those responsible for managing individuals' performances, workloads, well-being or work environments, people working in human resources, health and safety and occupational health, and for professionals involved in workplace design. Number five, how organizations use the standard. The standard BS 3416 sets out the actions for organizations to take in five key areas. The physical aspects of work, for example, provide quiet spaces for short-term recuperation, rest and management of symptoms. Work design, for example, check the suitability of certain tasks and assess whether tasks can be reallocated to lessen stress, such as by reducing front-facing hours or heavy lifting. 
policy guidance and practice. For example, consider how the organization's approach around menstruation and menopause can be integrated into existing policies. Supportive workplace cultures. For example, set up informal support groups to discuss concerns or plan well-being activities. And inclusivity in menstruation and menopause at work. For example, use inclusive language throughout policies and well-being events. Number six, lots of practical checklists. The standard BS 30416 also contains a series of annexes containing a range of practical checklists and tools such as tips for having confidential conversations with employees and the topics that could be covered in them, team management and training considerations, and further reading and where to find even more information. Number seven, benefits of using the standard. Adoption of the recommendations contained in BS 3416 can benefit organisations in several ways. Supporting existing activities around workplace well-being and occupational health and safety initiatives. Improving the general health and well-being of employees. Increasing employee engagement and productivity. Increasing employee retention and reducing the costs of recruitment and training and improving diversity and inclusion objectives by preventing the loss of women and people who menstruate due to inadequate or inflexible working conditions. Number eight, benefits to the economy too. Workplace guidance that supports the menstrual and menopausal experiences of employees is not only advantageous to employees themselves, because using the guidance can help to ensure the retention of experienced staff and attract new, highly skilled employees. It is also beneficial to employers and the UK economy more broadly. For example, when undiagnosed, untreated and inadequately supported, endometriosis, a condition that affects approximately 10% of women of a reproductive age, can lead to absenteeism, presenteeism and low employee satisfaction. So appropriate adjustments and support can help to ensure that women with this condition can perform their roles effectively and remain in the workplace. Number nine, how it works alongside other standards. Organisations can use BS 3416 alongside a range of other standards to support health and well-being in the workplace more broadly. These include ISO 45001, Occupational Health and Safety Management Systems, ISO 45003, Psychological Health and Safety at Work, ISO 27500, Rationale and General Principles for the Human-Centred Organisation and ISO 3415 Human Resource Management, Diversity and Inclusion. Number 10. The people involved in developing the standard. The standard BS 3416 was developed through consensus with a wide range of stakeholders. These include ACAS, Bloody Good Period, Endometriosis UK, the Institute of Workplace and Facilities Management, the Institution of Occupational Safety and Health, the LGBT Foundation, M for Menopause, Unison, and the University of Sheffield. So there you have it, a standard in 10 minutes, BS 3416, menstruation, menstrual health, and menopause in the workplace. You have been listening to Standards in 10 Minutes, from The Standard Show. Subscribe to us now, wherever you get your podcasts. You just heard a stripped media production.